slight favorites. Spain here are the odds now for the women's Euro starting in only a couple of days of France of course and England now with the excitement to be the hosts for the women's Euros and of course you'll be following them along and of course the tournament. Uh, Sid a lot of talk about uh, Spain especially with the squad that they have with Barcelona's success. Are they truly favorites with co-favorites England? Uh, they don't want you to think that. Uh, I think there's been a very concerted effort from the Spain camp, in particular from the coach Jorge Vilda, to try and to try and play down the pressure and the expectation. In fact, he was talking about the what he described as an unreal level of pressure on them. Uh, the, the expectations were too high. He said, look, this is a national team that, for example, has never beaten Germany, has not beaten England. This is a national team that hasn't won anything at European level. And he felt that this had created kind of a bubble around the team, a bubble of expectation that at some point could burst on them. Obviously, a lot of that is built around the success of, of Barcelona, who, of course, were European champions last year, reached the final this year, although they did lose that final and had a very, very poor start to the game. They've been in three of the last four finals, this Barcelona team. So there's a sense of excitement building around them, that Alexia Puldeas is the, is the Ballon d'Or winner. So you're looking at a team and you think, wow, this is the basis of the Spanish national team, and genuinely the basis as well. Against Italy, eight of the starting 11 were Barcelona players. But, of course, one of the messages that's coming out of the Spanish national team squad is to say, look, this isn't the same as Barcelona. That although the core of the team is there, although the identity is there, although the way that we play is broadly similar, it's not the same as the Barcelona team. That maybe one or two of those players that, that really kind of tip you over the edge, that really make the difference at Barcelona, are not Spanish. And Spain do have a problem at the moment, I think, in terms of dominating games and not scoring enough goals, or at least not scoring enough goals in those games that are a little bit more difficult. They'd, they'd scored seven against Australia, but just the one against Italy. And the Italian game was, I think, probably a case study in this. Spain totally dominated possession. Territorially, they were all over Italy, but they went 1-0 down. The first time they've been down, I think, in a game for, for over a year. I think it's 18 months or so now. Um, and had to come back and only managed to score once. So I think that would be the doubt. There's a little bit of fatigue as well. But I, I still think that Spain are, are definitely amongst the two or three sides that, that, that we can look at as, as potential favourites for this. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.